Kai, the effective tax rate for multinationals, I believe, will go up to 15%, possibly from the 1st of January 2025. Right. What is this budget going to do to offset that and strengthen Singapore's appeal as an investment destination? I think Singapore, I think besides tax, I think there's a lot of uh, the fundamentals are uh, very attractive to companies. I think things like the strong legal framework, uh, strong protect, uh, IP controls. Uh, I think, I think uh, Singapore is... This budget, I'm really hoping to see what other kind of uh, uh, measures they are going to appeal to, to help to strengthen Singapore's appeal as an investment destination. Uh, I think that's what I'm pretty much going to look out for in this coming budget. And staying with taxes here, you know, we talked about the cost of living, the assurance package that was rolled out last year, and perhaps more measures to build on this to help people cope with the cost of living. Some do think that perhaps to uh, further at least uh, uh, make sure that inequality is not, se not made me more severe, that there has to be other taxes, such as the property, such as say, on in a high net worth income. We saw some of those measures actually rolled out last year. Do you think that this will continue this year as perhaps another way of perhaps uh, addressing inequality in Singapore, which is becoming more and more top of mind for a lot of Singaporeans that we speak to? I think that's very much possible. I think over the longer term, the government uh, might probably have to spend uh, more in terms of uh, healthcare spending. Uh, I think more. I think you have to bear in mind. So I think that was one of the motivations behind the GST increase. Uh, I think um, by and large, uh, in order to fund the longer term spendings, uh, there has to be incremental measures uh, in order to. Uh, to boost Singapore's revenue. So I won't be surprised if this coming budget, they might perhaps uh, introduce a little bit more measures, perhaps more towards the upper income in order just to broaden the tax base. Mm -hmm. So overall, uh, you know, when you also look at uh, how Singapore is moving forward, I mean, uh, with, with regards to uh, helping uh, companies uh, adapt, adapt for the future, you know, a lot of uh, buzzwords such as AI disruption, retrenchments, I think is this going to be something that will probably feature also ad and addressed in the budget as it was in 2023? Correct. Right. So I think something new that perhaps we are looking for in this budget, as already guided, is that um, Perhaps uh, they might introduce a new measure where they'll provide uh, interim support for those that, are, uh, that may be retrenched and all. So I think this is something new that uh, I think we, we might see in today's uh, budget announcement later on.